Hi, I'm Nana Gil and I want to be a superhero! And this week I'm working on building my super suit. I've almost finished building my superhero suit. So far I've made my utility belt and an awesome confetti cannon that uses the science of energy and thrust. Also got a perch for my new butterfly sidekick to rest on and learn about the centre of gravity. Also learn about hinges and use them to make a set of biting teeth. And finally, I've got a gigantic superhero hand. Ha! Today, I think there's one last thing that I need to add to make my super suit even superer. Even more superish. Even just better. Better. Anyway, it's something which will help me to fulfill the most important task a superhero could ever be asked to perform. Rescuing a kitten from a tree. When I was trying to get the superpower of throwing, I learned all about levers and how they can extend our throw by increasing the force. I also learned that levers move by pivoting around a fixed point. Now I'm an expert in levers, I think I can use what I know to make an extendable arm with lots of levers that extends out with lots of little pivot points. And rather than throwing something, I'm going to use my arm to be able to grab and lift things from far away. For this experiment, you will need some thick cardboard, scissors, pencil, ruler, a wooden skewer, nine paper clips, tape, two sheets of paper, two elastic bands, and some blue tech. Take your thick cardboard and measure and draw six identical cardboard rectangles. They're going to be 16 centimeters long and four centimeters wide and then two more rectangles that are 10 centimetres long and 4 centimetres wide. And then when you've measured them all, you're going to cut them all out. Now, take two of the pieces of card and two of the pieces of card like this, and then take your last two and make it into a U-shape. And we're going to make one of the U-shapes with the card at the top and one of the U-shapes with the card at the bottom. Next, take the pointy end of a skewer and make a hole in both of the pieces of the cardboard. I like to put a piece of blue tack below it and then I can make a hole through both of them very easily. Next, take a paper clip and open up the sticky outside here so that it folds like this. You're going to push this through the hole, one hole and then the other hole and then you're going to bend it over like that so you've created a nice pivot point here and you're going to take the back of this paper clip and so you're going to do that again with another paper clip on the other side here we go so now i've got three pieces of card and i've been able to do that on the other one too that can pivot like this so you're going to take one of your u-shapes and you're going to turn it into an s-shape and you're just going to do that by rotating this one here you're going to take your other one and you're actually going to turn it into an S shape but the opposite way. So it's going to go this way and this way. Now you want to lie one down like this and then you want to put the other one on top of it like this and then tuck the bottom and the tops in. I'm going to tuck this one under and I'm going to tuck this one under like that. So they should fit together very nicely like this. Now we want to put a paper clip joint in the middle of each of the places where they cross. So you're going to use your skewer again to make a hole. Okay, so first I'm going to make them as tight as possible. And then I'm going to put a hole in between where they cross. So there's a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. And do the same thing with your paper clips again to make our little pivot points. Fold this over and then tape it in place again. And do that for your three pivot points. So now you should have an arm that can stretch out and then retract back on itself, like this. Put that to one side and take a strip of paper and make a paper straw by rolling it loosely around a skewer. Once you've rolled it nice and tightly, you're gonna tape it in place. And then you want to measure and cut the straw so it's about seven centimeters long. Now take one of your arms and measure two and a half centimeters up from the length of the bottom. So I'm gonna extend it out like this and I'm gonna measure two and a half centimeters from here and then I'm gonna draw a line diagonally across like that. 
Then you're going to put your straw over that line and tape it in place. Next, take your skewer, put it through the straw and tape it to the cardboard on the other side. And now you should find that when you move the skewer, it moves your extender arm. The last thing we need to do is make our grabber hands at the other end. So now we need to pull the skewer all the way back so that our arm is nice and fully extended like this. So you're going to take your two pieces of card, the shorter ones from earlier, you're going to position them vertically at the top of your extender arms here, and then you're going to point them slightly towards each other so the tips touch like that, and then take them into place. So that's my grabber arm done. The last thing I need to do is mount it onto my super suit. So just like I did with my wrist guard, I'm going to make an arm guard. Take a fresh sheet of paper or card and place it around your arm and measure how long you want it to be. I'm gonna make mine that wide to here. And I want it to go up my wrist to there. So I'm gonna make it this long. I'm going to cut that out. Next, I'm going to make a latch to hold it all together. This is a bit like my wrist guard, but because it's actually a whole arm guard, I'm going to need two paper clips to seal it all together. So take your paper clips, open them out this way, and then bend them back over to make a hook, and then tape them to the end of one of your pieces of paper, like this. And then do the same with the other one. Now take two elastic bands, and you're going to hook them over like so and then figure out where they need to, to be taped to go around and hold your wrist guard. This is my wrist guard. I'm going to need this one to be taped about here and then this one to be taped around here. Perfect. Okay. That's a cool wrist guard. Now I need to mount the extendable arm onto this. I'm going to have it about there. So then I'm going to need to tape this on using a little bit of blue tack to stabilize it. And if you want, you can tape it more securely in place. Now for the moment of truth. Can I use my extendable arm to grab something and move it? As this is the first test, I don't think I'll use a kitten just yet. Let's try something a little bit easier. I have made some tubes out of paper by rolling them into cylinders and taking them into place. And we're going to turn those into a pyramid shape. Okay, my last one. Time for my diminutive daredevil nano nano girl. Are you ready? Are you feeling daring today? She says she is. Okay, why don't you hop on to this cylinder here and we're going to see if I can lift you all the way up to the top of the pyramid. Here we go. Uh -uh. Grab it, extend it, and onto the pyramid. Do -do -do. Arm go. Da -da -da. Look at that! It worked! I can think of so many awesome superhero adventures that we could have with our awesome new extendable arm grabber. I could reach cookies all the way across the room. I could reach things that were stuck down the back of the couch, like cookies. I would be the best superhero ever. I can't wait to see all of your extendable arm grabbers and see the amazing superhero adventures that you can have too. Now, I'm off to have my first adventure. See you later. Bye.